Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the bi weekly contest 116, length of the longest subsequence that sums to target. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So, this is basically a, a knapsack y problem. Um, you could write it in a number of ways. I wrote it bottoms up during the contest. Um, it, and it's and I kind of took a little bit of time because I, I kind of uh, I had it like this and I couldn't and it debug it because I was just being silly. On and if it, I added this in and I forgot about the if statement. So once I changed this, it was pretty much it. Um, as for explanation, we can kind of let let's do it live now, but on um, uh, top down, right? Uh, that's what I want to do during the contest, but I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. So it'll be interesting to see. Actually, I'll. Um, I opened up another window so I could at least have this one up in the spring and later maybe. Uh, but yeah, so basically here, you know, I'm going to use cash. I'm not going to go over cash or memorization for this problem. I do that in a lot of videos. So for this one, I'm not going to do it. Uh, let's just say get get longest, right? Of uh, So now we have the index. Oops. And then the target left, right? So if target left is equal to zero, then we return length zero. That means you're done. If target is less than zero, we return negative infinity because we want to get the longest. And this also means that it is impossible, right? Uh, otherwise, and we probably don't even need that because we'll just be, be like, um, best is equal to get longest of index plus one target this is the not ticket not taking it and then we can also try to take it right get longest of index plus one and then target minus um num sub index and that's pretty much it of course you can do something like this so that it doesn't really run into negative infinity or whatever uh, and then we can just return best and then of course we just get longest of uh uh, what is it? Zero and target. Uh, eh, maybe you have to do some like you know. Uh, if this is less than zero, return negative one. Return answer something like that. But mm, oh, I forgot to uh, have have a thingy on the thing, right? Uh, if index is equal to n, we return. Uh, and also negative infinity means we can we didn't achieve our goals. Uh, all right, that seems a little bit odd. Hmm. 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 Oh, whoops. And this is this plus one. T I, wow, that 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 code isn't even close. I don't know why that that was right. Now let's give it some mid. I don't know if this was going to be fast enough during the contest um, because. A million things, uh, yeah, see, because of the memory limited things. Uh, lead codes, it's kind of silly like that, to be honest, sometimes. That's why I didn't do it this way during the contest. Um, yeah, it's only a thousand square. Come on, friends. Uh, I mean, you could actually get rid of, I mean, that's, eh. maybe you could do something like, you know, uh, uh, Mm, do, 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 times um what is it i'll get plus one for the do, 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 plus one maybe just in case and then here um yeah text target is not none reason right so something like that maybe uh, see if that fixes it. I, I'm not 100% certain. There is an additional over uh, 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 overhead with using cash. Uh, and I guess that did work. But um, and we can kind of take a look at uh, my my timings for. <clears throat> so yeah, so seven seconds is pretty slow. Uh, what did I get during the contest? I guess during the contest it was six point eight seconds. So I, I don't know what to say about this one. Um, but yeah, but this is a simple take no take except for cash apparently memory limits because the code hates Python. But otherwise, you know, um, it is knapsacky. Uh, worst the complexity, it is going to be uh, index goes from zero to n, so this is n, and target goes from zero to target, so t say. So it's going to be pseudo polynomial n times t time, and also pseudo polynomial pseudo polynomial n times t space uh, and that's all i have for this one let me know what you think 
it's a little bit fast but it's also a little bit basic so let me know uh because i've gone over similar problems during the daily uh things uh so yeah let me know what you think and i will see you soon and also if you want to see the bottoms up um and you can actually further optimize this um you actually further optimize this a little bit. Let me actually do that. Uh, you could do the space optimization, so you don't even need this. Right, and then here. So then now, do 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 do. Right. So then do 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 do. Uh. So then J dot. Right. Something like that. And of course, it wouldn't work because you only have one one dimension. Right. Oh no. What shall we do? Uh. Well, actually, this isn't even necessary anymore. Uh, well, I think the thing is that we just come backwards, right? Um, <laughs> DP of J, what? DP of J in range is target plus one. It should be fine. What am I looking at? Hmm. Start at target. Oh, whoops. And then we could try for a submit. Maybe it's well. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So you want to do the space optimization. Uh, there is a weird trick about knowing the exact order of your 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 um of your uh, 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 of your processing maybe, or you could say relaxation of the node. Uh, but yeah, and if you do that, then you can notice that they always go in a certain way, so you could actually just count it backwards. I'm not going to go into that in this particular video, but you can see that it works. And this would, and I, in the, during the contest, I just didn't care enough to do it because um, I was just trying to do it as fast as possible. But you could also see that uh, I just kind of, on a whim, try to do it, so it's not that bad either. Um, yeah, I, I think I just didn't want to think about it during the contest. Uh, and this actually cuts the time, uh, cuts the time from 6.8 seconds during the contest to 3 seconds during the thing. A lot of it is just in memory allocation, of course. So, uh, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And, yeah, uh, same. Uh, and you can also see that this is uh, O of T time, which is, ooh, what happened? O of T, oh, sorry, not O of T time, O of T space uh, with the space optimization. So, yay, yay, yay. But, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. You can watch me solve it live in the contest now with the silly mistake. 210. <sighs> Longest subsequence at all target. Okay. Uh, hopefully this is fast enough though. Now let's do it the bottoms up. It's the long oh sh longest. Okay, fine.
Mm, let me shove down the tops down. But Leetco has some weird issues with it sometimes, so I'm not confident. I see it all. Did return like negative one or something? One of these. Or maybe not. Mm. Wait, what? New pistol. Should be a pretty straightforward one to be honest. Hmm. But I'm getting it wrong, so let's. This is four times three, why? How did this happen? What am I doing? This is such an easy problem when I'm messing it up. Why is this so weird? Oh, because of this. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, okay. Hopefully I don't have a silly mistake. Other than that one that we just took so long. And if this time's out, I'll also be very sad. It's a thousand each, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm very sad, but uh, I hope I'm doing it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, the explanation, everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.